Good morning, everyone. I have a new daily routine. Oh yeah, I got a new rug for inside here, just because the one that I got is mainly just for decoration and show. And this one, this one is to wipe your feet. Well, you can wipe your feet on that one also, but yeah. Anyway, letting the fresh air in, you guys. As you can see, yes, I did get my hair done. Cheyenne did it for me, and I was gonna show the whole process. It's different. You guys know I have not had my hair braided like this in a very long time. I usually do the crochet braids where they cornrow the bottom and then they put the um, crochet hair in. So it's been a long time since I've gotten hair like this. Anyway, um, she's not a professional. I was gonna show you guys how she did it and the process but i'm just looking outside because i see a bird anyway i was gonna record the whole process but it was such a long day because the same day that she did it was the same day that they put the security screen door on and it actually did not take very long for the door he was very efficient it was loud but you know that's to be expected but he came in did what he had to do and left and so then not too long after that cheyenne started doing my hair and we didn't finish until late at night. Well, she didn't finish until late at night. Cause like I said, you know, this is her first time, not her first time doing it. It's the first time doing it in someone else's hair because since we've been here on quarantine, she actually looked at some videos on YouTube on how to braid hair and whatever. So she did it. And as you can see, she did it with the rubber bands right here. Um, so yeah, it's not, it's not perfect, but y'all know me, my hair, I always find something to complain about, but because my daughter did it, I am trying to just shut my mouth. I mean, I knew what I was getting into. So anyway, what am I saying? Saying all I like to say, yes, my hair is done. I just finished doing the dinner dishes from last night because Savannah and I, we binge watched the second season of Dead to Me on Netflix. It's with Christina Applegate in there and I don't know the rest of the other people in there. So we binge watched that. It's only 10 episodes and the show's like 30, 35 minutes. So when we started watching that, I'm like, oh, I'll just do the dishes in the morning or I'll have Savannah do them. And anyway, so yeah, I just did that. That's all clean in there. And... Um, of course, my screen door is open, but I want to show you guys something. So remember how I think I told you guys that I need a new screen door for my sliding glass door because I had the ghetto makeshift screen that you just put up and then let it hang and stuff like that, right? That's what I had. So I went to Home Depot yesterday and I was actually going to get someone to come out and measure it like they normally do and then the same process for the security gate come out and measure it and then i go into home depot pick out the screen and then they come in and put it up so i'm thinking okay well it'll be less expensive for them to do that right so i get there and the guy's helping me and he's like you know you could put your own screen door up and i'm like i don't know it's probably too hard or whatever and he said no he said first of all their cheapest screen that they had that they install was $189. Mind you, I did not even pay $189 for my security screen door. It's not the cheapest one, but it's not the most expensive one. The most expensive one they had, I think was like $800. And I think that's basically because of the design on it. So I'm like, I'm not paying $800 for a door, you know, even though it was very fancy. So like, you could do it yourself. And um, if they came out, they would charge me $50 to measure it, but that would go towards installation. Installation is $129, and then their door that they put in, that they install, is the cheapest one was $189. And I'm like, so you're telling me just buy the door for $189 and then put it on myself? And he said, no. He said, that's the door that they install because they have to come in, they have to do something and cocking and I don't know, whatever he said. So he showed me this screen door and he showed me how to do it. And I'm like, well, I can do that myself. And he's like, well, yeah, I need one with a pet guard on it. So I don't know if I told you guys a story of the dog that we had that tore up our screen door. 
So anyway, all that to say, I know I'm just rambling you guys, but all that to say, I got a screen door yesterday. I put it on myself. I put on the pet guard. All I had to do was drill it on. So I'm going to show you guys. And yeah, I'm actually proud. I did it myself, but it was such a struggle because, okay, the first time I didn't measure the screen, right? And I wasn't prepared because I thought I was going to just have someone sign up to have someone come out. So the guy, when I realized I was gonna do it myself, he said, well, what size is your screen door? I said, I'm like, I don't know, I didn't measure it. He said, is it standard? I'm like, yeah, sure. And so he said, okay, standard size are 36. So he gave me that one and I'm all happy. It fit in my car and we're driving home when I get home and I'm like, this doesn't even cover one panel of the door. So then I measured it and then it was 48. So had to take that back to <laughs> Home Depot, but the one that was 48 would not fit inside the car. We were trying to think of all kinds of ways. And then one of the guys that came and he said, you have twine and you can, you know, just put it on top of your car. So that's what I did. That's how we got it home. Anyway, all that to say, let me show you guys the screen door that I put on. I'm actually proud of this and it's open and the fresh air is blowing through and I am just enjoying it. All right, you guys, here is my screen. It's there <laughs> and the pet guard that I put on because Boston when he is ready to come in he will scratch on the glass like that so I just don't want him to tear it so let me show you guys from the outside and I thought it was going to be hard to put on but no I all I did was drilled in the screws right there so yeah you guys I did that not very hard at all. I'm in my new favorite spot to be in. Um, I just finished some schooling, some of my online classes, and I'm just sitting here. Um, I actually just finished editing a vlog, so I'm letting that upload, so I'm actually about to get something to eat. It is 1.30. I have not eaten breakfast. I have not eaten anything at all yet, you guys. I've had coffee, and that's about it. Let me show you guys what I got today. So, you guys know, if you guys have been watching me a while, I love phone cases. I have a phone case for maybe like three months and then I'm like, oh, I'm tired of it. So I want a new one. So this was the last one that I got. It is a Kate Spade one. It's a knockoff. It says Kate Spade right there in the back. It says Kate Spade as well. But I got this from the accessory store and these are knockoffs. These are not real true Kate Spade. And I actually wanted a real one, but I got this just because I wanted something that was like a wallet type. See, I go through phases. I go through phases to where, ew, I don't want the wallet type anymore. That's too bulky to just give me a case on the back to back to the wallet. So that's just me. So when you guys see me with another case in like three months, it's okay. I did get another case and I got this from Macari actually and it is Kate Spade. See right there, Kate Spade. And then you open it up and it says, what does it say? Um, I'm all ears, Kate Spade right there. And it has your slot for your ID and things. And it also has a little zip part right here. And you see the little spades in there. So I got this because y'all, so I'm bougie when it comes to certain things sometimes and I just wanted Kate Spade and it just had to be Kate Spade. So this is an original. I did not pay that much for it. And the reason why I know it's original is because when you sell things on Macari now, if you put that it's any name brand, they have to authenticate it. They put this little sign on there that you know it's been authenticated. So I bought it and it was not that expensive. Of course, you'll get the people on there that is like 100 bucks for this. But you know, if you're selling something used and it's you're not gonna get what you paid for it. So yeah, it's pretty much in good shape. It looks almost brand new, like right here around the edges. It looks not dirty but it looks like it's been used a couple of times and maybe the person got tired of it i don't know but it's really in good shape so i'm gonna switch from my knockoff kate spade to the real kate spade so that came in the mail today and what else is going on you guys i want to open up my blinds but 
the neighbor's house is right next to us and it's a two-story and I haven't been in the house but I'm guessing there's a window right there I'm sure there's windows along the side but there's a window right there at the top that I'll show you guys that I'm guessing it's the master bathroom or something like that let me just show you guys Hopefully they're not looking out. They won't think I'm a creep. Okay, see that window right there? And yeah, the husband has all of his stuff out there and that doesn't bug me. It's their backyard. They can do whatever they want. But when things start, he leans stuff on the fence, which I don't mind either, but I don't know if you guys can tell right here, but the fence is leaning over. So, it's gonna be his responsibility if this fence blows over any more than it already is. I don't like that at all. So let me close this and finish telling you guys what I want to say. So up there I have that privacy glass that I put up, that way they can't see in. I think I'm actually going to put the privacy glass on there as well, that way I can open up my blinds. Because they're not nosy neighbors at all, they're actually really good neighbors, they're just the weird ones. But I mean, it's only human nature, if they're there and their window is open, I mean, not that I would peek in anybody's house, but if I had my blinds open or my window open, I would look in. I mean, I wouldn't be nosy and just like, ooh, what they got, but I would look in. That's just human nature. And it's like, no, don't be looking at my house. I actually think I'm going to buy some more of the security glass and put it there. That way I can open up my blinds. It's getting pretty warm right now. I have my doors open, front and back, but it's still getting pretty warm. Maybe I'll just turn my fan on because I really love having my door open. And it was so funny, you guys, when the mailman dropped off my package to the door, I heard something walking up. Because I'm not used to having that door open, it's like every noise I hear when I'm sitting in my chair in the living room, I turn and look like, what's that? Get startled, like, oh my God, what's going on? They're like, calm down, your door's open, you're gonna hear all the noises, whatever. Austin likes it also, so he'll come out and he'll stand right there and you know he'll see people walking up and he'll start barking, so. Yeah, not doing that much. I probably should get something to eat that way. I mean, I'm not gonna waste away if I don't eat, but yeah, I'm getting hungry. But first, I think I'm going to switch everything. All right, so I have my really loud fan on, you guys. So that's the wind that you hear. I actually have it pointing from the door so the air can circulate a little bit more. So yeah, I went ahead and I swapped everything out. I have everything in here now and it holds much better. It's able to stay closed as to where the fake one that I had, it wasn't staying closed because of all the stuff that I had in it, kind of my fault. But yeah, so the way I am, you guys, when the new iPhone comes out, because I have the iPhone XS Max, and I know there's one that's newer than this. So every time a new phone comes out, I'm not the type of person where I gotta have it. And the ones who are like that, not knocking yet, I'm just not that way. So once this phone starts dying, then I will get the next iPhone, which will be whatever's new at the time. So anyway, like I said, I do actually always get a bunch of phone cases. But here's the thing, once I get a new one, I rarely, rarely go back to my older ones. Um, I think I've done it a couple times to my Disney ones because they're Disney and yeah, I'm just not gonna give those away. But I'm gonna have this sitting here and it's not real, it's for iPhone XS Max. So honestly you guys, if somebody wants it, let me know and I will mail it to you free of charge because I honestly know I am not going to use this anymore. It's going to sit in my closet until it collects dust or I don't know. So why not give it to someone who can use it? So if you want this, let me know. I will send it to you free of charge. It is for the iPhone XS Max. So yeah, and let me just let you see what it looks like on the inside. You put your phone right there and it has a spot for your ID and the wallet space. And see, it's kind of like open a little bit. That's because I had a lot of things in there. And the same amount of things that I had in here fit in this perfectly and it's able to close. So yeah, there's maybe like 
one little spot right here that has maybe ink on it or whatever and I'll clean that up but other than that it's going to be sitting so if you guys want let me know so we heard our neighbors to this side the one with the two-story yelling having some kind of like political argument he was clapping his hands and being loud and just like wow I don't know if you guys can hear oh my goodness you guys my neighbor is really going off on somebody whatever they talking about I keep hearing Obama and I keep hearing Trump I keep hearing religious freedoms and he was like no shut up yeah can you guys hear Good morning, everyone. It is Friday. Let me mute this so I won't get a copyright strike. Okay, I had my worship music on. So anyway, it is Friday, like I said, and it's about nine o'clock. Have not had my coffee yet. I've done, let me get where you guys can see me better in the light. I've done my devotionals and stuff like that. Um, I am just about to do a project, which is, I call everything a project now. This is my broom closet that I bought and I painted. I don't guys remember that whole fiasco with that. So it's really messy and I don't show anyone inside here because it's just basically a place where I throw stuff that I don't want anyone to see in my kitchen. I have my broom, my mop in here, and this is where everything goes. Boston's dog food, which I need to get him some more. I have all my oils here that I put in my diffuser. I have Boston's treats, his medicines, his vitamins, stuff like that. So I am just going to clean this out, make this look a whole lot better. It's all done. It's not perfect, but no one sees into here. So this is just a closet for storage. So I have all of my diffusers over here, and this is just for like one of those dusting things I need to get some more of the little pads this right here <laughs> it's all Boston's his treats his medicines his vitamins everything right here is for him he is an older dog so when we got him they said that you want to make sure he stays up on his vitamins because I guess cocker spaniels have problems when they get older if you don't keep them on their joint medication and stuff like that the pads for the mop and this is where we keep the kitchen garbage bags and right here I know everything looks a mess but this is where we keep everything and got there's Boston's um, harness that's the rest of his food that's what we're trying to get him off of so he really doesn't like that and plus that makes him poop a lot keep that right there handy for when we see a spider which we haven't been seeing a lot since it got sprayed and so yeah this is the broom closet now i feel that it's more organized i wish i had a shelf here that i could put more stuff on maybe i can build one y'all know me when a thought gets into my head i'm like hmm because i do have in my pantry i call it a pantry but my big cabinet right there i do have pots and things not really pots, but stuff that I don't use often, like ice cream maker. I don't use that often, so I need to put that somewhere like in here. I don't know. We'll see you guys. But anyway, that is done. And yes, it's an actual closet because if you guys remember the story, I ordered this from Amazon and it came in white. And I actually only ordered something this size. I wanted it with the size of just one door. And that's all I wanted. Well, it came double like this. I called and they're like, this is what you ordered. So I just kept it. Okay, it's blurry. You guys, I am so excited. So Hobby Lobby, it's opening back up today. I just called them and I know I heard a bunch of stores and retail stores supposed to be opening today. So I didn't know how much truth was in that so anyway i called and the lady said they opened up at nine but from nine to ten thirty it's for the elderly and at risk and then after that until seven o'clock to the general public but of course they're going to monitor you know how many people go in as people come out and they're requiring you to wear a mask i don't care how the lobby is open y'all 
today's a good day. Y'all know how in love I am with Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna cry. So we're about to leave. I'm on my way to Hobby Lobby and then I need to go to Winco or Walmart. Probably Winco. Anyway, honestly you guys, I think, I think it's too soon for things to be opening back up. However, to me with going to Hobby Lobby, what's the difference of me going to Walmart or Winco to get what I need as long as I have my mask? And that's not the one I'm using. I'm actually throwing this one away. I have a, another one here. So I do have my mask. So yeah, I mean, I think it's too soon for like hair shops, getting your nails done because you're really close to the person. And even like sporting events because it's a large crowd how can you stay six feet away from people like something like that so they're monitoring us just the same way they're monitoring us when we go to winco or walmart then i'm okay with it so let's go look everyone i'm back in hobby lobby and i do have my mask on hope you guys can hear me okay so we are back home now i only went to Hobby Lobby and Walmart. There's a fly in here, I hate flies. Anyway, I did end up getting a doorstop for the door. And let me show you guys what I got from Hobby Lobby. So I got the sign that says home and I love how it is. I just think it's super cute. And I'll show you guys where I put this up later. But I also got some wind chimes and I know I have some but the front, but these are true and it wasn't $40 um, these are true low tone wind chimes the one that I have in the front are not even though it said that it was supposed to be so I'm actually going to put this in my backyard because where the front is you can hear it sometimes oh it's going off now I know look where I put it you guys right above my door when you go out. I seen a lot of things that says welcome, but I don't get things that says welcome for outside because honestly you guys, and this may sound mean, but it's the truth. Not everyone is welcome in my home. So this is where I hung the wind chimes out here. There's also a hook right there, but I actually think I'm going to put a real flower there, but these are truly low tone and I love the look. I love how it sounds and I love it. He loves sitting by the door now that we can keep the door open. Look at the mess Savannah has down there. She's trying to get a new hobby. So she wants to paint. And I told her she better be very careful because all that paint, I don't want it on my floor or on my carpet. So yeah, that's what she's doing. And I am just watching Desperate Housewives. I paused it just so I could talk to you guys, so yeah. All right, you guys, it is much later. It's 11.30, and I think I'm actually about to call it a night um, because I've been going to bed way, way late, and I need to reel it back in. That's why I've been setting my alarm clock to get up. Not, like, super early, but anytime between 7 and 9, just to, I don't know, just start getting my body used to waking back up. So anyway, yeah, you guys, so I was excited about going to, to Hobby Lobby. And if you're wondering, yes, I do still feel that everything is too soon to open back up. And I'm not going to be their guinea pig. I went because when I called, I asked what their policy was right now with everything going on. And she said, number one, they make everyone wear a mask. Okay, I'm down with that and they only let so many people in the store at a time which is totally fine so when you walk in someone was monitoring us so to make sure everyone had the mask and they were telling everyone here are the baskets that were just wiped off and they made announcements in the store that kept saying you know remember social distancing stay six feet away from other people and then the person in front of me used the credit card machine and before i went up there the cashier wiped it down so it was that and then when we were leaving the cart that we had they wasn't allowing you to take it outside so they grabbed it and they wiped those down and then moved it to the other side of the store so of course i didn't know all that until we went in but because of what she told me on the phone how they were treating everything that's the reason why i felt 
comfortable to go. I mean, I go to Walmart and Winco when I need something. So, and it doesn't mean I'm gonna go all the time like, oh, Hobby Lobby's open, let me go. It felt so good to go because you guys know I love that store. And even though I was there and I'm like, I'm, oh, I'm finally here. It was like, you know what? I need to just get what I need and leave. So yeah, you guys, I still feel it's too soon and I'm not really gonna go out there and do everything just because it's open. But I just wanted to go to Hobby Lobby today because it's been so long. And I finally got the last thing that I've been waiting on from Amazon. So I can finish up the video and show you guys my room reveal. I'm actually going to clean my room tomorrow and put everything away, make my bed for the video, whatever. So you guys should probably see that. Um, I don't know if it'll be before this one, but it'll be soon. And I know I keep telling you guys that, but like I said, I was waiting on what I needed for decoration from Amazon. And then plus I know I never showed you guys the bench that I made for my room, but I didn't want to show you guys because I need to give a full reveal. So anyway, yeah, you guys, that is it. That's all. So I'm going to end it here. I don't know what all is on this video. So anyway, you guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing before you leave. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.